Hey you guys, we wanted to do a one year update with Tabor today. So I can't remember, honestly, the last time I did an update with him is probably like, I don't know, when he was six months old or something, but he is officially one year old. Bud, you're one year old. That is so, so exciting. He's trying to grab the camera. So we will see how well he sits in this <laughs> chair. <laughs> So I wanted to share with you some of Tabor's favorite things, but first he is 32 inches long and he weighs about 22 pounds. He is off the chart still on height and right about in the middle for weight. He is a very tall boy. <laughs> so Tabor loves food. Where'd your toy go, bud? And I'm gonna have this book because it's probably the only thing that will distract him right now. But food is a big one. He eats so much food and he's a little bit pickier than Junie because he definitely prefers um, fruits over vegetables. <laughs> so he'll eat his vegetables, but he will sometimes throw a fit and if I give him something he doesn't like, he just throws it on the ground until he gets something that he likes. So we're trying to cut that habit out. It doesn't happen all the time, but occasionally, especially when he's kind of fussy and having a hard time, he's like, no, just give me my comfort food that I like. But he loves to eat. He eats so much food. He also loves his water more than any, like, I don't think we introduced water to Junie when we were technically supposed to. I think we were worried about giving her too much water and we never really gave her that much water, but Tabor drinks a lot of water. He loves his water and he doesn't always drink it. He likes to like put it in his mouth and then spit it out, <laughs> but he loves his water. Um, he also is just super busy, active, happy baby. He is doing a lot of um, where he will stand up and walk using the furniture. He is at a place right now where he can balance a tiny, tiny bit without any support if he's just like standing for a second. Um, but he's not walking yet, but we know he will be soon. And I can tell he's getting frustrated and he really wants to walk. Um, but he does crawl super fast and he can get around just fine. He's the cutest outside, especially when it was a little bit nicer before all the snow and the the frost hit. Him and Junie were the cutest. They would just crawl. Junie would crawl around with him. They would just crawl all across the yard, playing in the leaves, having so much fun. They were just the best. So they play really well together, especially outside. They are definitely best friends. Um, obviously, they can still have some issues. Junie will get frustrated if Tabor takes her, to her toys or attention, that kind of thing. But they play really well together, definitely best friends. And they have been sharing a room for a good while now. Like, I can't remember, six months or so? Um, and it's gone really, really well. They've really adjusted to sleeping in the same room together. And there has been so many perks to them sharing a room. They wake up super early. We're talking like 5 a.m. Um, especially with the time change, it's definitely about 5 a.m and they just keep each other entertained because they're not supposed to leave the room until seven. So and they play in here for a good amount of time and it's been really, really great. Another couple of Tabor's favorite things is definitely water, not drinking water, but like bath time, like anything water. He loves to splash. He is so funny. He will just get in the bath and just like, Splashes the water non-stop splashing splashing splashing. He has so much fun and he just thinks it's the coolest thing He'll just like splash and splash and splash and then he'll like look at me and smile and it's like look how cool This is and then he splashes some more and look how cool this is mom. It's so so cute yeah. He can say mama and he can say papa and he has recently learned how to bark like a dog <laughs> so Paris was like can you bark? There you go. <laughs> That's his little bark. So Paris was barking in the laundry room and Tabor was just like watching him like, oh my gosh, what is that? And he started to make his little bark sound. So now whenever he sees Paris, even if Paris is not barking, he starts barking in his own way. And it is so funny and so cute. He has become such a great sleeper. He sleeps 
through the night. <laughs> 12 hours, basically. So he is definitely, he likes to go to bed early. So he will only take one nap and he takes it about uh, 10 a.m. to, I don't know, sometime between 11 and 12. So it's a good nap um, and he is waking up at five. So it's technically pretty much the middle of the day for him, even though it's 10 a.m. for this nap. Um, so he takes his one nap and then he goes to bed at around 5.30. To six somewhere in there and he is out for the night so he might wake up occasionally for just a little bit or if he's going through a regression or especially if he's like cutting the tooth or something he might wake up a little bit but most nights 90% of the time he is out until like 5 a.m. which is awesome so he is a good sleeper because for a while there he was not sleeping through the night for a long long time you want to play with that down there you can play with that down there he loves playing with his toys he loves anything that makes music or sound that's why he loves that book he's playing with right now um he also loves all the cars uh, he loves to like drive them around on the ground he is such a boy it is so funny and so cute to watch like he has such a a little boy personality even though it's just like it's innate it's just that's him that's how it how he is we didn't like push that on him it's so funny and so cute to, he's barking you hear him barking he's barking at the cat in the book that is so funny <laughs> the sweetest thing he's just learned recently is he can now give kisses can you give mom a kiss oh kisses he doesn't do it on demand but he does do it often if you go you go kisses and then he gives his cute little kiss. He'll give it to Junie, he gives it to Papa, he gives it to me. It's just my favorite. So, so sweet. He loves to sing with Junie. So if Junie is singing, he does his little song, which is kind of like a little humming thing. And it is so, so sweet and so cute. So he's definitely such a sweetheart. So he does have that little boy personality, lots of energy, loves the cars, loves getting crazy. But then he also is just so, so sweet and gentle at the same time. It is so fun. Okay, this is what he's barking at. Can you see him? <laughs> but overall, he's like pretty happy, pretty mellow guy as long as he's not tired or hungry. If he's not any one of those things he's usually just super happy super smiling he gets a little frustrated if he wants something like wants to go into an area he's not supposed to or wants to play with a certain toy but overall he's just like he's such a sweetheart so this is Tamer's one year update I can't believe my baby is one year old oh my gosh it's been such an emotional time for me just because he's one he grew up so fast he grew up so, so fast. It's been like, it feels like the fastest year of my life. So thumbs up for Tabor being one year old. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Be where your feet are. Bye.